everyone. I have been spending my weekends going to estate sales and charity shops and I have accumulated quite a few things that I need to show you. And one of the reasons I want to show you is because one or more of these things will be in October's giveaway this Friday. And I don't know. The first thing I'm gonna show you is a trash can and I'll just insert a photo because I'm not going to hold it up. And I paid up for this item at, a, at an estate sale recently, but I just really love it. And when I've seen these at antique stores, they're about $40 are in the high 30s, low 40s. And I don't really wanna pay that. So I paid about $20 for it and it's from Oh gosh, of course now I can't remember. I think it's from International Can or Continental Can. I'll insert it here, but I would guess it's probably from the 1950s and I think it's absolutely swell and I love it. At that same estate sale, I found this very cool same eras, mid-century cocktail shaker. It is very lightweight aluminum, of course painted black with the red top. And tried as I might, I could not get that top off. This part comes off and you can see the cap should remove to create um, an area where you can pour your cocktail. I will remove it eventually. So I got that, this was $3. This I paid about as much at another estate sale and this was a while ago that I found this. I just love it. I've been using it in a display. I'll put a photograph here and it's of course a little bronzed baby shoe and it looked like it had been mounted on something possibly with the other shoe. I would say this is probably looking at the style of shoe. This is probably from the 1950s, maybe even a little bit earlier, but oh, you're probably not going to be able to see, but you can see that inside you can still see, you know, some of the leather from the shoe there. It's, it's not bronzed on the inside and it's clearly worn. So I really loved the patina on this and I just thought it was absolutely lovely. Anyway, there were these pretty glass ornaments and I went ahead and got them because I thought they'd be pretty in any fall display. And the only, they do have markings on them. If I remember to go back, I'll try to insert something here. This one has a little tag and I'll, it's a clock. Oh sure, now that I hold it up to the camera, I can see it. I guess I should just hold everything up to the camera. There is some kind of writing on some of them. But anyway, so here's some little pine cones and here's a little acorn. There was one other acorn there and the woman running the sale said, oh, I was kind of setting that aside for myself, but you can have it. And I said, absolutely not. And, and then this little corn one. So aren't those pretty? Carnival glass open sugar. And this little sugar dish is a gift for a friend. I bought this for a friend. Yeah, so there are those. So yeah, and I got the, um, so the, the little glass ornaments were 50 cents a piece and the, the carnival glass was $3, yes. All right, now I'm gonna move to NCI because that's So I found there this little numbers cookie cutter set. It's from 1984. Somehow at that store, they often have like vintage games and puzzles and children's items. I don't know where they come from. I know they get a lot of estate sale leftovers. So I do check them out sometimes when I've been to an estate sale and I find the prices are too high. Anyway, the numbers are one all the way up through zero. So you can create, you know, multiple numbers and they're all in there. And it's funny, they, they have a note here. The nine and six are made using the same cookie cutter. <laughs> thought that was funny. So here's a zero. And they're all in there, if you can see there. Aren't those fun? 
So they're small, and you know what those would be fun for? You know, if you like to have vintage toys for your children or grandchildren, they'd be really fun for Play-Doh. You know, when you're looking for the fun little cutters and things to impress on Play-Doh, those would be fun for that. I really can't see myself making cookies out of those tiny little numbers. I found these really beautiful milk glass double candle holders. These are very heavy. They're a really nice size. And I just did some cursory research and I believe these are made not by Westmoreland, but by Imperial Glass. And I don't think they have a name. I think they just have a number and of course I can't remember what it is. I could be wrong about all of that. They were marked at $8 a piece. And I think Maria charged me, she charged me $8 for both of them, or she might have charged me $4 for both of them. But they do pretty well. I could probably sell these for about $30. I have a couple of these and I can't remember if I showed you or if we talked about it at all. But this is an aluminum square angel food pan. And let me tell you, these are very popular. The first time I saw one was at an estate sale and they wanted $10 for it. And I thought, I am not gonna pay $10 for it. This one was marked at $3. This one doesn't have any marking that I could find. Anyway, I could look a little, I didn't, didn't look very hard. But these sell for between $20 and $30. Can you believe that? Yes, they do. And I have another one, which I'll show you in another haul that does have a marking on it that I think is worth a little bit more than this one. I also got these two cookie cutters. Here's just a little red Christmas tree. And this was a little star. These always are nice for display for many different seasons, Christmas, 4th of July. If you hear that heavy breathing, it's my dog. She loves the sun. Can you see her? Juno! She's just... And then I found this, okay? Let's see, what did I pay for this? I paid $3 for this, and I thought, oh, this is something really special, and I have never seen one of these before. This thing weighs probably four pounds and it is a Queen Anne glass bake bunt pan or mold pan you could make jello in there it's got the ever so slightly the tiniest little feet there on the bottom can you see that and it has that kind of yellowish glow that some old glass has sometimes so, so I scooped that up for $3 and I brought it home and I thought, oh, this is something, you know, no one's going to have one of these. Well, there's quite a few of them available online and they're really not that popular. I only saw one sell for about $12. Um, you know, I think it's just one of those things that who wants to pay shipping for something that heavy that isn't Pyrex, right? It might be pretty with some, you know, Christmas ornaments in there. I don't know. Or flowers. You could put it, arrange some flowers in there. I don't know. What else could you do with that? You could feed your hamster in there. You could put your, put your hamster in there and let him run around. And I saw this there. I actually had seen this over a course of time there. And... I thought, oh, it's really cute, but I just, I had a feeling that it was not truly vintage. It has a vintage look to it, and it's a butter dish, or butter keeper. Oops, my notes. Yeah, so you can't remember how it works. If you, you stick the butter in there, and then you keep it in here to keep it cold, you put cold water in it, I can't remember. Come on, someone's gonna tell me how to use that. I decided that I would pick it up. It's very heavy. It's very well made ceramic. And I just thought the colors were really pretty. So there was no marking on it. But after a little research, 
I found that it was made in the year 2000 by El Tremaine Incorporated Butterbell. I don't know if that's what they called the piece Butterbell or Butter Crock. It's made in China and they do pretty well online. So I'm going to do a few things from the tip and then I'm going to end the video and you'll have to come back tomorrow to see the rest of the haul. They have an area for toys and it's usually crowded when I go there. There's lots of parents shopping there for toys and that from they have from small little things all the way up to tricycles and bicycles and I think they have I think I think the prices are small toys are one dollar medium are two dollars and larger toys are three dollars or as marked I saw that they had blocks and I like blocks I've been using them in displays for different times of year and I've been enjoying that and I'm always in need of more letters and numbers but then I started seeing these more vintage blocks there and I even saw that there was you know a vendor price tag on some of them so I started grabbing as many as I could hold and it wasn't really very many and it was cold and windy so i grabbed let's see how many do i have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen so there's 16 blocks here um yeah and i thought they were pretty swell there's a d <laughs> so yeah i brought those up and he didn't really know what to charge me, so he just charged me a dollar for all of them. I saw this vintage adapter so that you can plug in more things into your socket, but look at it. It's kind of like Bakelite. It's got a very deco look. I'm sure if I opened it up, I could find a maker to it. But I just loved the way it looked, and I thought it would really work and look nice in my old home. It just says connector on the back. So I got that. And this was, he didn't charge me for this. Zero, zero cents. He just was kind of like, eh. These were marked a dollar. They're little canisters and I thought they were so I think they're from like 1980 or something like that. They say made in Hong Kong. And they say the little schoolhouse. And I just thought these were so charming. Now, I know some of my friends out there are teachers. My husband is an elementary school teacher too, but I just can't see him putting these in his classroom. But look how cute they are. They would also be really cute, you know, in a child's room to help them organize their toys or not to help them organize anything, just to play with or set out and bring some color. I thought they were very, very cute. This is one of my most favorite things. I absolutely love this. Let me know what you think. This is a vintage bottle stopper of some kind. It's a little Harlequin style clown. Can you see her little face or his little face? And he's holding some flowers to give you behind him. I just, I just love this. I thought it was so, so sweet. And that's the bottom. Oh, I did keep this in here because I knew I would forget. So I paid $3 for it. There's the tag from the tip. And there was a tag on it from an antique vendor. It just says clown with stopper $15. Or it says clown stopper $15. Let me show, show it to you again. It's about I don't know, it's about three and a half, four inches high, so it's a good size. But I don't know what that would have been in. I love it. It's 
just ceramic. So let me know what you think about that. So I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna come back. I'm not even gonna probably change my sweater or anything. I'm gonna just go right on to the next video so you can see everything and decide what is going to be in the giveaway. I appreciate you stopping by, ta! Thank you.